Hi guys, I'm Eileen. So Louis Vuitton increased their prices again in May 2020, right before Chanel. At least in the US, this would be the fourth price increase since October 2019. So just like Chanel, Louis Vuitton probably increased their prices due to their reduced revenue caused by the pandemic. Although I think Louis Vuitton probably hasn't been hit as hard as Chanel because many of their items are available online. And even if they are not, you should be able to contact customer service to try to put yourself on a waiting list. Even though the inflation for Louis Vuitton is not as deep as Chanel, I'm sure many of us still find the timing a bit frustrating. And to make it worse, I've actually read on some blogs and press forums that this will not be the last price increase for Louis Vuitton in 2020. So if you've been thinking to buy a certain Louis Vuitton handbag, you might want to take that into consideration. Today, I want to share with you some of the really popular handbags from Louis Vuitton and just talk about if they are still worth buying. First of all, let's talk about Louis Vuitton canvas. In the past, you could find a lot of Louis Vuitton monogram canvas handbags under a thousand pounds, but at the moment, most of these handbags have gone over the thousand pound mark. Seeing these handbags are not actually made of leather, are they worth the money? So basically, Louis Vuitton canvas, including their classic monogram, Damier Azur and Damier Ebain, are made of cotton canvas coated with PVC. To be fair, they are very durable and low maintenance, so quite often they can last you for decades. In fact, I think all my Louis Vuitton canvas handbags are real work horses. The untreated Vachetta leather will require a bit of care, so I usually prefer Damia Ebane because it's completely worry-free and I feel very comfortable carrying them in the rain or in the snow. Even though Louis Vuitton is constantly bringing out new designs and new prints, these canvases remain their classics and I don't see Louis Vuitton replacing them too soon, so there's a good chance these will never go out of fashion. At the moment, the price point for their canvas collections is less than ideal, but if you know you're going to use a handbag a lot, it might be worth your money. That said, if a speedy costs over £3,000 one day, I would still think twice. Personally, I don't think you need to have a huge collection of Louis Vuitton monogram handbags. I mainly use them for durability and practicality. Next, let's talk about the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. In the UK, the price increase for this collection is 5%, but for some reason, the inflation is a lot more drastic in the US, which is about 13-20%. to 20%. This is not good news because I know a lot of people love the Neverfull collection, and I can understand why because they can fit so much and access is super easy. Louis Vuitton had actually done some tests on these handbags and apparently a Neverfull GM can hold the weight of 90 kilos. So if you're after a workhorse, this should be it. For me personally, I think the Neverfull is a bit too open as a tote bag. My manager uses hers as a work bag every day and we always tease her that we could see everything inside her handbag. And sometimes the bag would topple over and things would start flying out. So for me, I definitely prefer to have a zipper for a big tote bag. Another thing that bothers me slightly about the Neverfull are the shoulder straps because they just look really thin. So I always worry they will start digging in. Essentially, if you love the Neverfull for what they are, then go for it. But just be aware there might be other alternatives that could work better for you. For me, I much prefer the Louis Vuitton Totally because it has a zipper and the straps are wider and they just feel really comfortable. I also really love the two outside pockets because I can reach for my phone and my keys easily. I think it's really a shame that Louis Vuitton discontinued this collection. In fact, they have a habit of launching then discontinuing their pieces even when they've been doing really well. So that can be a bit frustrating. Anyway, I found another handbag that has a very similar design to the Totally. The silhouette is really similar, but this handbag only comes with one outside pocket. I really like the design. I think if I did miss out on the Totally, I would definitely consider this handbag. 
Ultimately, the Neverfull is a classic collection from Louis Vuitton, but that doesn't mean it will always work for everyone. So certainly keep your options open. Next, let's talk about the Louis Vuitton Speedy. If you're looking at this collection, I would recommend to go for the Speedy Bandolier. I think one of the best designs Louis Vuitton has done over the last 10 years is adding a shoulder strap to their Speedy. It really adds so much versatility to the bag. The price increase for these two collections is about 5 to 10%, depending on the sizes of the handbags and where you are. I'm really glad I bought mine when I did. This bag was about £700 eight years ago, and right now it costs about £1,100. And I think I've made my money worth as well because I've used it so much. In fact, I've always said um, a Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier can be a fantastic option if you are buying your first Louis Vuitton handbag or your first luxury handbag. The size 25 especially is just great for everyday use. It doesn't look too big, but it's big enough to fit a lot, including things like a water bottle and a small umbrella. If you're interested in this collection, I would say now is probably the best time to buy, unless if you're planning to buy from the secondhand market, because there's no question they will just keep going up in prices. If you're looking for a playful bag, I think the Louis Vuitton Mini Palm Springs backpack is perfect. This collection has gone up by 10%, which is quite a high jump for this particular price increase. I'm not surprised though, because these bags are really sought after. They are always sold out in the store or on the website. In fact, it took me a long time to get mine. On the secondhand market, they are going for higher prices than retail price. So if you've been thinking to get one and you can actually get hold of one, I would say go for it. I absolutely love mine. It looks so cute. And for a little bag, it can actually fit so much. To be honest, this is really expensive for a little canvas bag, but because I've used it so much, I feel like it's one of the best luxury purchases I've ever made. Another playful handbag I want to talk about is the Louis Vuitton Multi Accessor. This collection has the highest increase in the UK, which is about 14%. Now I think the Louis Vuitton Multi Accessor shares a very similar story like the mini backpacks in the sense that they are both very trendy designs and they've been really popular since their launch. So these bags are always sold out as well. From what I can see on social media, most people only have good things to say about this bag. And to be fair, I can see it being a very practical and usable handbag. I mean, I use my Louis Vuitton coin purse and mini pochette every day. So this bag is like putting together all the very practical elements into one piece. I also really like the shoulder strap because it looks quite wide, so it must feel really comfortable. Personally, I don't see myself buying this bag because there's just a bit too much going on. I usually prefer simple designs for my handbags. But I am really starting to see the appeal of the multi accessor, especially if you're planning to buy a coin purse and a mini pochette anyway. Now, I generally prefer classic pieces, but I don't think there's anything wrong adding something a bit trendy and playful for more variety. So if you think you will still wear this handbag when the trend is gone, it might be worth looking into. Next, I want to touch on the Louis Vuitton Neo Noé, which has gone up by 12%. This collection has been really popular as well, and I've seen some reviews saying the design is like the combination between a Speedy and a Neverfull. I really like the way the bag looks. It's really casual but feminine. That's why I ordered one with the black leather strap, but I quickly decided it's not for me. First of all, the bag felt a bit bulky as a shoulder bag, especially because these bags sit quite high up. Secondly, the pull string felt like it was a bit in the way when I was going in and out the bag. So I quickly returned the bag, it was the very next day. In my opinion, if you already have a small collection of Louis Vuitton canvas handbags, you probably don't need this bag in your collection. I might be a bit biased, but if you're choosing between the Speedy Bandolier and the Neo Noé, my choice would be the Speedy Bandolier because it's just as practical and in my opinion, a lot more versatile. 
Another Louis Vuitton handbag that's been doing really well is the Twist. This bag looks quite modern but so classy. The silhouette is really structured and I love that the design is so clean and sleek. The showstopper for this bag is certainly the turn lock. It really complements the handbag beautifully and is such a clever design. In terms of space, it should be able to fit quite a lot because there's no leather compartment on the inside or a double flap. And just like the Chanel classic flaps, the Louis Vuitton twist should be quite versatile because you can use it on the single chain, double chain or as a crossbody bag. So I think the twist is like the signature flat bag from Louis Vuitton and it might become a true classic one day. But because they've been so popular, Louis Vuitton decided to introduce some new versions by adding some playful elements to these handbags. Personally, I think these adjustments look a bit out of place. I mean, the whole selling point of the twist is the clean and the classy design. So I certainly don't recommend the special editions, especially when they cost more than the classic twists. The next one is a collection I really like from Louis Vuitton, and that's the Capucines, which didn't actually go up in price this time. Honestly, that surprised me because these bags are really sought after. They've never been available online and the last time I was in the store, they actually had a waiting list for the Capucines. So I think even though they've not been included in this price increase, we'll not be as lucky next time. Personally, I think the design of the Capucine looks really timeless, classy and beautiful. In fact, I've been thinking to get uh, the Capucine's BB in the color Galette, but now I am also considering the Capucine's Mini, which Louis Vuitton released earlier this year. I really like that they've made the strap wider and shorter because with the strap on, it looks really chic, but without the strap, the handbag looks really elegant. So it feels like the perfect bag to transition from day to night. There you have it. Those are my thoughts about some of the really popular handbags from Louis Vuitton. For me, Louis Vuitton handbags are often very practical and durable, but I'm certainly not a big fan of all their collections, especially their newer designs like the New Wave and the Spring Street. In fact, I've actually done a video about the Louis Vuitton handbags I won't buy, so I'll make sure to leave the link down below. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.